So I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're looking at that small form factor PC that we had originally built at the way start of the channel. Um, it had the i7-3770. We put in a, 1050, a GTX 1050 graphics card, um, and that was all in an HP uh, chassis. It was all in an HP small form factor chassis. And then we switched it over into a cooler master case with all these new components. So we had the new blue case fans, blue LED case fans. Uh, we got a new micro ATX motherboard, a 450 watt power supply, and a Wi-Fi card. So that was on the Cooler Master case. And then I was looking on Amazon and I was looking for micro ATX cases and this case popped up. It's the number one micro ATX case on Amazon. It's, the, it's a dark flash micro ATX mother, uh, case. Um, and it's honestly really, really cool. So if you take a look at it, it sort of has inspirations from a couple different cases. It almost has that NZXT H500 vibe. You have a completely um, tempered glass front panel, side panel. And then you also have a PSU cover um, so you don't see any of those cables. And it's super, super clean inside. And then you sort of have that Meshify C front panel look, although this isn't a mesh panel, it's just sort of this pattern, geometrical pattern front panel. And then again, you have inspiration from that H500i with this side panel for airflow. The one really nice thing about this case is you can probably fit a 240 rad at the front and on top and a 120 or a 140 rad at the back, which is really, really nice. And overall, it's just a really simple, awesome to build in case. It was super bit easy to transfer everything over from that Cooler Master case into this case. The tempered side panel is awesome. And then when you turn it on, the white case with the blue LEDs honestly looks super, super cool. So it's a little bit hard to see through the glass, but it's honestly a sick case with the blue lights. If we open up the side panel, it's super clean. We have our SSD mounted right there, our blue LED case fans, and it was, it's really clean on the inside. We, cable routing, cable management, super, super easy. On top, we have this dust cover and easy capability to fit two 140s or two 120 millimeter fans up there. We have USB 3 two USB 2s, um, aux for microphone and headphones, a power button, a restart button. It's honestly a really clean case. And then if we take a look at the back, again, super clean, easy to build in. Um, we have our 450 watt power supply, our Wi-Fi um, card, everything in, is in here. So it was, again, a super easy case to build in. We have plenty of clearance uh, under the case for the power supply to get some airflow. And I honestly, this is probably one of the better cases that I've ever built in. And it only cost me $39. So I was on Amazon Warehouse. They had like three or four Amazon Warehouse specials on this particular case. It was just missing the original box, the original um, case. That was pretty much it. It came in like a Corsair. Um, a Corsair case or a Corsair box for whatever reason. Um, but it came with all the, the hardware instructions. The case was in perfect condition. Uh, glass saw the cover on it. So honestly, no complaints there. So for a $39 case, you almost get the vibe of an H500 mixed with a Mesh of IC in a much smaller form factor. So if I put this up to the H500, it's probably, I don't know, five inches smaller width wise. So like five inches that way, a couple inches uh, shorter up top. So it's more like an H200i. And again, one of those cases runs over a hundred dollars and I got this one for 39. So couldn't be happier with this case. And for this build, we have a very special uh, update coming to this rig and it has to do with the graphics card. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise just yet, but I'm gonna give you an update. It's gonna be another GTX card, but a couple steps up from what we have in there right now. So if you don't know what's in here right now, take a look at some of the past videos. I'll put those 
up top in this video or in the description below. Check them out, see what's in this build. And I look forward to showing you guys the updated build when that new graphics card comes in.